Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, the, uh, today we'll be discussing A star algorithm and uh, we'll see how this works. It's, it's actually a, uh, a variation on the Dijkstra's algorithm that we studied previously. And basically, this also finds the shortest path between uh, you know two sets. Now, unlike Dijkstra's algorithm, which found the best route from one node to all of the remaining nodes, in many cases, the only requirement may be that I just want to find the best route from one node to just an, one other node. So unlike the extra that's finding all shortest path between all remaining nodes, your uh, A star algorithm only returns the shortest path between one source and one destination. It would be possible to modify the Dijkstra al algorithm to make it stop once the optimum route to the target destination node has been established. As an example of A star algorithm, we can consider a simple example of finding the shortest route between two towns using the existing roads. The figure shows a basic map showing the location of seven towns identified as A and G. So this is A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. These are different towns. This map is included because it was drawn using a pair of X and Y coordinates. So the east point on this map can be highlighted using X and Y coordinates. The map included is because it's drawn by using a pair of X and Y coordinates defining the position of each town. Pythagoras theorem can be used to calculate direct distance between two positions as follows. As you can see here, we are using Pythagoras theorem if I want to find the shortest distance between, for example, A and B, A and C, A and D, I can use this formula to find the shortest distance. And this table over here, this mentions the coordinates for each of the towns. So for example, the X and Y coordinate for A is 422, X and Y coordinates for B is 330, X and Y coordinate for C is 8, 80 and 35, so on and so forth. Using these values, I, it is possible for me and this formula over here to fi find the shortest distance between the or the direct distance between two points in this map. Now for A star algorithm, we need to make use of this formula. Uh, this, this formula will be primarily used in the calculation of the shortest route. We need to understand what this formula is first. First of all, the F of N is referred to as the fitness number. It is the estimate cost of the cheapest solution or the shortest path that we'll be looking at for this, uh, this particular example over here. So F of N is referred to as the fitness number or the cost of traveling from one node to an adjacent node. Secondly, G of N will be the actual cost of traveling. So uh, obviously if, if you look at this, this is a map. Imagine that this is a map and there are roads between these you know, uh, different towns. It's not, you know, uh, necessary that the path between two adjacent towns is a straight one the road could be you know leading in a different way but it will eventually be here but what is that would be the actual cost of traveling from town a to say g so if there is an estimated cost that we can get for example using this distance uh, this formula but also there's an there's an actual cost which is referred which will be you know calculated by you know actual road between these two points okay afterwards we got an h of n h of n will be the heuristic value which is the act which is actually the estimated value or distance from the current node to the destination node so for example i want to travel from a to d so if if i have reached from a to c what okay for example if i want to travel from a to d what will be the distance, the estimated distance from A to B? So we will get heuristic values from this formula over here. Similarly, so that basically tell, tells me what is the direct distance from A to B, considering that there is, imagine that there is no path, there's no road between here, and that I'm using this Pythagoras theorem to find the direct path from A to B, for example. So that would be my estimated cost. Similarly, if what is would be the estimated cost or a heuristic value from C to D, and again, even, or, or for example, G to D. Now, G to D, it's possible that the road exists like this, and you know, it's not a straight line, but my that would be the actual cost of traveling from G to D. 
but what is the real cost of traveling from G to B? That could be calculated using this formula using Pythagoras theorem. So uh, I will show you how uh, you can uh, possibly calculate heuristic values uh, uh, using this formula in, in a different uh, document. Okay, so this formula over here and along with these coordinates are implemented on this Excel sheet to be to calculate the heuristic values uh, that will be using that will be needing in the uh, calculation of distance, for example, from a one location to a possible other location in this map over here. So I'm going to use these these coordinate values for these towns that are mentioned over here, all of them, and I will use the the uh, this formula, the Pythagoras formula. And it's, this has been applied here on this Excel sheet just for your understanding. So as you can see here, uh, this formula is, uh, you know, long story short, my heuristic values from, say, for example, A, the coordinates, you see the coordinate for A is for the uh, X value 40, Y value 20, B is 30, 30, just like as mentioned over here and the C value is 80, 35, similarly. Okay, so the formula states that I have to first find the difference of X coordinates. So this is the difference of X coordinates. Then this is the difference for Y coordinates. If I'm traveling, by the way, our goal is from A, A to D. So our destination is D. So I want to find a difference from this point to D. So if you can see that D coordinates is 130, so if I am subtracting the difference of X, that would be 40 minus 30. So that's how I ended up with 90 over here. As you can see here at every point, I am subtracting, I'm subtracting the values from B10. Now B, why B10? Because I'm going towards B. So again, I am finding the shortest or the estimated distance from a coordinate to my destination and my destination is D. So this D is my destination. D is my destination. So it could be different for different problems, but right now I'm considering B as my destination. So in that case, if D is my destination, this, I'm, uh, the calculation of difference of X coordinates will be, with, with, will be uh, this value subtracted with the X value of D because D is my destination. So that's why 40 minus 30 is 90 over here. Similarly, for this one is 30, minus d again you see 100 here similarly i'm also getting the difference of y coordinates of each different point with respect to d so again you can see here 30, 20 minus the y value of uh, d which is minus 10 20 minus 10. so this is the difference of y x and y coordinates of each point with respect to the destination d and obviously the, the there's no difference between x and y coordinates when i calculate d itself so that's why the distance of x coordinates of d versus d is zero and difference of y coordinates of d versus d is also zero so that's the the formula is being applied here this will be used in further calculation as well it should be considered okay anyway so next step says that you take a square of the difference of x coordinates so that's this is what's happening over here. I'm taking the square of X coordinates that becomes 8,100 over here. And similarly, the, all of the values are being squared over here. And similarly, I'm taking the square of the Y coordinates over here as well. So this row is taking the square of Y coordinates. So I'll write here square of X square of Y like so. So this difference is being squared here and this difference being squared here as with all the rows. Afterwards, what I do is I add them together and this is what I'm doing here. I'm adding these square values together and this will be resulting where so this is what required. I'm supposed to find the difference of squares and the square of the differences and adding them together. So that's what I'm doing over here. And finally, I will take the under root of this entire uh, sum and that's why I'm taking the under root of 8200, which becomes 90.6. So we round this off to make it uh, 91. Okay, okay, by the way, we're rounding off to the upper uh, limit. So basically we're rounding it up. If it's a 50.2, so we're still making it 51. So anyway, uh, this is my, these 
I take the under root, round it off, and this will be my heuristic value. So again, what heuristic value is, uh, just to make it clear, this formula for calculating the difference between the towns is used particularly for just this example. It could be different for different problems. But the point of heuristic value is that just to calculate the estimated differences, estimated distance from one point to your destination. So in this case, our destination is D. I'm calculating the estimated distance from A to D, B to D, C to D, D to D is no distance at all, E to D, F to D, and G to D. So this is the estimated distances from our desk from this current point to our D. And this these heuristic values will be used for H of N in our A star algorithm when we will be calculating individual uh, points will be using h of n with these values. So this is how the calculation for h of n was performed. So uh, in the next uh, screen, I'll be showing you how these values are being used. But the point of showing this is uh, that I'm exact. I'm using exactly this formula and these coordinates to find the heuristic values. Okay. So if we move on, we have calculated the heuristic values. And we'll be using that for this graph. Okay, by the way, this map is elaborated in this way. As you can see here, the actual distances from adjacent nodes, say for example, A to B is 13, A to F is 20, and this will be the actual distances. I just calculated the estimated distance, the H of N, but the actual distance is mentioned on this map. And this will be used here in the following screen in which you have to calculate the, you know, uh, the, uh, the shortest path from A, from, from one point, from A to D. My destination will be D in, the, in this example.